Welcome on live, join me live, join me live, join me live. You are welcome to tonight's broadcast. Wherever you're watching, just drop a comment to show that you are live. Those on Facebook, your Facebook just joining. Those on WhatsApp, you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. God bless you. God bless you. You are welcome. As you are joining, you can mute your call if you don't mind. For those on WhatsApp, you are welcome. For those on Facebook, you are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. Hallelujah. And happy Sunday. I believe that your week has been blessed. I believe that you have been having a wonderful, beautiful, fruitful week. Welcome live, welcome live, welcome live, welcome live. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Share, 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 share. Ribos kubara dibo shanta raba kabara daba shinda raba ya. You are welcome tonight. You are welcome tonight. You are welcome tonight. Raba daba shanta raba kubara daba yikai. Lord, we give you praise. We give you praise tonight. We bless your name. We adore you. Right now, just begin to appreciate the name of the Lord as we are coming live. Appreciate the name of the Lord. Appreciate the name of the Lord. Appreciate the name of the Lord as we are joining. I hope you have your bottled water or such a water with you. Lord, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Welcome live. Welcome live. Welcome live. Welcome live. You are welcome tonight. You are welcome tonight. Share this broadcast. Share at least to five, five groups, ten groups. Share with your friends. Share, 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 share. Share with someone. Share the broadcast. Share it. Publish it. Glory be to God. Okay, let's begin to appreciate the Lord. This prayer broadcast, as we know it, is just for 30 minutes. 30 minutes so that we can go and rest for tomorrow's activity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's begin to appreciate the Lord tonight. Let us begin to magnify the Lord. Let us begin to bless the name of the Lord Jesus. Bless his holy name. Give him praise. Give him glory. Give him the adoration. Give him the glory. Give him the praise. Thank him for your life. Thank him for your family. Thank him for your loved ones. Thank him for all that he's doing in your life, in your family. Bless his holy name. Give him the praise. Give him the praise. Give him the praise. Give him the praise. Give him the praise tonight, beloved. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Magnify him. Exalt him. Rato shata bara kasuta. Verande keparus katalina. Lord, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Blessed be your holy name, Abba Father. You are worthy to be praised. 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 There is none like you, ancient of days. There is none like you, Abba Father. Lord, we say thank you. Rataba Shatonge Beradiska. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Magnify the Lord. 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 Blessed be your holy name. 
Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Mande ko bara tonge bariako. Redon shebere de beka barande geborosko boradia. Into velano skebande bara. Ke barada barada bashada rada barada balada 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 baladam. Rato zevre de gedede. Jege de gelebogado. Rato nge bara. Lord, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Lord, you are wonderful. You are wonderful. You are wonderful. You are wonderful. Bless the name of the Lord. The Bible says, I will bless the name of the Lord at all times. Give him the praise that is due to him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. In those shapa ruske bande varia don ze balakwando bilaika taradi natalaba ninga bada shande balago zobrenda gaba kamvarakia telembe ruza bani kabaru shande librande kabara. Lord, we are grateful. Tonight we are grateful. Tonight we are grateful. Tonight we are grateful. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your name. Thank the Lord. Just give him praise. 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 Blessed be your holy name, mission of these. Blessed be your name, mission of these. Blessed be your name, mission of these. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Right now, I want us to ask the Lord for his mercies. You are going to tell the Lord, Father, surround my life with your mercy. Surround my life with your mercy. Let your mercy speak for me tonight. In the name of Jesus. Rada da 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 shada la balada. Rebroko zuprate kavara junande. Rebrege zuprata gabaraske delege de burududu. Shege de gede burudu. Redege zupre de gede redebeledem. Lord, let your mercy speak for me. Let your mercy speak for my life. Let your mercy speak for my family. Let your mercy speak for my household. Let your mercy speak for me in every area of my life. Tell the Lord, Father, show me your mercy. In the remaining days of this year, Lord, show me your mercy. Talk to the Lord. Rato shapake furuna sudaha. Lord, in the remaining days of this year, show me your mercy. Let your mercy speak for my family. Let your mercy speak for my household. Let your mercy speak for my loved ones. Let your mercy speak for my ministry. Let your mercy speak, O Lord, for my followers. Those who are following me on live broadcast, those who are who loves me, those who are showing me love, those who are giving me concern. Lord, let your mercy speak for their life. Let your mercy speak for their family. In the name of Jesus, Father, let your mercy, your mercy, your mercy. Riko shaparu zenda rikava, rate brende shakaparu zenda rikava. Lord, let your mercy speak for us. In the remaining days of this year, we need your mercy, O oh God. We need your mercy. Rataba shete rebrendo soko bara zamfara kura pilaha. Lord, your mercy, your mercy, your mercy, your mercy. In the name of Jesus, mande bokosha. In Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You are going to tell the Lord, Father, every power that is working against my advancement in life, that is the prayer. Every power that is working against my advancement in life, let them fail. In the name of Jesus, man, do shakata. Begin to pray that prayer. Every power that is working against your advancement, that is working against your breakthrough, that is working against your success in life, we command them to fail. In the name of Jesus, we command them to fail in the name of Jesus. Powers that are working against your breakthrough, powers working against your advancement in life, let them fail in the name of Jesus. Let them fail. Regede barata bagaba shatara da barara rezufre ketomberi kahadia nimbrate shaparuske delianda. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father, for in Jesus' precious name we are prayed. So tonight, we are looking at what we have titled as the Holy Spirit gave us last week, uh, last week, Sunday, the Lord said to us that tonight we should deal with the spirit of don't go far. The spirit of don't go far. The spirit of don't go far. In Yoruba, they will call it a mimalogino, meaning they permit you to go, but they don't want you to go far. They permit you to progress, but they don't want your progress to be permanent. Let us quickly look at Exodus chapter 8, verse 28. If you are watching, I want you to share this, brother. Share at least five times. Share to five groups. Hallelujah. Exodus, the book of Exodus Chapter 8, verse 28. Exodus chapter 8, verse 28. That is going to be our anchor scripture for tonight. And we are going to pray and share the grace. Glory be to God. Exodus chapter 8, 
verse 28 says, So Pharaoh said, I will let you go to sacrifice to the Lord your God in the wilderness. Only you must not go very far away. Plead for me. Let me read that scripture again. Let me read that scripture again. Probably you didn't get it. So Pharaoh said, I will let you go to sacrifice to the Lord your God in the wilderness. Only you must not go very far away. Now, the children of Israel one told Pharaoh by Moses that they were going to sacrifice to the Lord in the wilderness. And Pharaoh said, I will let you go to sacrifice to the Lord your God in the wilderness. Only a condition, a but, you must not go far. There are so many people that the enemies have vowed that they will never go far. The enemies have vowed that they will never amount to anything. There are many people with glorious visions that the enemy has allowed them to take the first step, the second step, the third step, but they will return back to where they started from. That is why you see a lot of people today that they rise to a certain level and all of a sudden they get stopped. This is the spirit of don't go far. They have glorious visions that cannot see the light of the day. They are not bothered about you making small money. They are not bothered about you making small progress. They are not bothered about you taking, having little achievement. But they don't want you to have sufficiency. Hallelujah, somebody. They want, you to, they, they want you to at least meet your needs, but not be able to meet the needs of your family. This is the spirit of don't go far. They may allow you to even get visa, but you will not get to the airport. They can allow you to get to the airport, but you will not board the flight. They can allow you board the flight, but you will not land. They can allow you land, but you will not get to your destination. This is the spirit of go, but don't go far. There are lots of people who have started business. At the initial stage of the business, they were having good profits, but all of a sudden, everything died down. They cannot explain how they, they fell from grace to grass. They cannot explain how their life took a sudden turn for the negative. In the name of Jesus, I am praying for you that any power that says you will not go far in life, by the power that rose Jesus from the dead, by the power of the Holy Ghost, any power that has vowed that you will not go far in life, the Lord will strike them down. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will strike them down. In the name of Jesus, there are people that when they enter into a major breakthrough, that will settle them for life. That is when the Pharaoh of their life, the enemy of their destiny, the enemy of their, in their neighborhood, in their family, will stand and say, you cannot have it. At that junction, of their breakthrough in life. That is when the enemy will say, no, you are not permitted to have this. There are people that in their family, that the highest achievement they have achieved in life is the same thing that their grandfather achieved. Is the same thing their father achieved. Everybody is at the same level. Everybody is at the same, at the same, they, they have, the, they, they cannot go beyond a particular standard in life. This is the spirit of don't go far. In the name of Jesus, tonight that yoke shall be broken. I said tonight that yoke shall be broken. Tonight that yoke shall be broken. When you read the book of Acts of Apostles chapter 23 verse 12, they were, the Bible said there were about 40 men gathered themselves to fast and pray against Paul that he will, he, that he will die, that he will not succeed, that he will not move. Why? Because these were men that knew him. They were enemies. They went on the fast because of Paul. And the bad news is that there are people that you call friends. There are people that you know. There are people that you think that they have your best interest at heart in the name of Jesus. Anyone that has vowed that you will not succeed. Anyone that has frustrated your year from January till now, you have nothing to write home about. You have no achievements. You have no testimony. You have no breakthrough. You cannot even point to anything you have achieved in the course of this year. Those powers that has limited your life. Those powers that has spellbound your life from moving forward, they shall die 
die for your sake. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sama, if you are not spiritually sharp, if you are not sharp in the spirit, you will not be able to descend this kind of powers. You will not be able to descend that you are under the bondage of this spirit that does not want you to go far. You will not be able to know that there is a power that is sponsoring the affliction of your life. Sometimes a lot of people are, are being logical about the affliction of their life. They are being logical about their situation. They are being, they are, they are being carnal in their thinking about the predicaments of their life. The same thing your brother went through, you are going through it. The same thing your sister went through, you are going through it. The same thing your mother went through, you are, you are going through it. The same thing they are going through, your family is what you also are going through. I have seen families that barrenness, they all have delayed before they give birth. I have seen families that they are all living in poverty and penury. I have seen families that nothing is working for anybody in that family. That even if somebody dies, they will have to wait for after one or two years to gather money, to save money before they can bury their dead. If you plan a wedding in such kind of family, you will need the entire community to contribute money for you before you can get married. This is an affliction of don't go far. In the name of Jesus, that affliction is broken in your life. That affliction is broken in your family. That affliction is broken in your lineage. In the name of Jesus, every affliction that has hindered the great men and great women in your family from progressing, from succeeding in the name of the risen Christ, that affliction is broken tonight. In the name of Jesus, you must be spiritually at a lot for you to understand that there are principalities, there are powers that can hinder you from moving far in life. You get into a new country and you discover that things are not working well for you. You have everything that it takes for you to succeed. It, it, it is an indication that there is a force, there is a power that is saying no to the yes of God in your life. In the name that is above every other name, as many that have gathered against your progress in life, as many that have gathered against your success in life, as many that have gathered against your advancement in life, as your amen is showing on the comments, as your amen is loud wherever you are, those powers they shall I said they shall fail. 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 In the name of Jesus, the season you have entered that you are about to enter, it shall be a season of your moving forward. In the name of Jesus, you will no longer be limited in life. In the name of Jesus, you will no longer be stopped. Whatever stopped you from January till now gives up right now. Anything that has hindered you from progressing from the beginning of the year to this very moment, they shall give up on your case right now. I said they give up on your case right now. They give up on your case right now. There are some of you that you have you are supposed to have moved, you are supposed to have advanced beyond the level that you are. But there are certain things that you cannot explain that has hindered your life. You cannot just explain why things are taking the negative turn. You cannot just explain why things are like the way they are. But in the name of Jesus, I am praying for you by the power of the Holy Ghost your time is now I say your time is now to break through your time is now to succeed your time is now to excel your time is now to prosper your time is now to be favored your time is now to be helped your time is now to receive helpers your time is now to receive favor your time is now to break forth your time is now to advance your time is now to change level your time is now to get married your time is now to receive that visa. Your time is now to receive that promotion. Your time is now to receive the advancement. In the name of Jesus. There are people that they give them job in the company. Somebody employed you in the company. Say, ah, don't worry. In few in few years, you will grow. You will grow through the ranks and you become a boss. You can get promotion and you see them 15 years in the same company, the same position. No salary increment, no progress, nothing. They don't even have an asset, no land, no car, nothing, nothing. It is an indication that there are powers that don't want you to go far. There are people even in their family that they don't even want them to exceed, uh, 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 exceed beyond them in life. It is an indication that they don't want you to go far. In the name of Jesus, every cause, every cause over your life, that you will not go for. That cause is broken tonight. Yeah. I say that cause is broken tonight. 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 There are husbands that don't even want their, want their wife to go for. There are wives that don't even want their husband to go for in life. You must pray. And that is why you must be alert spiritually. Am I communicating here? You must be alert. You must be a praying person to overcome every force. You must be a praying man. You must be a praying woman. 
the same Pharaoh that told the children of Israel to go is the same one that said they should not go far. Ha! And when the children of Israel made an attempt to go far, he, he pursued after them to stop them. Anyone that wants to stop you, that wants to stop your rising, that wants to stop your lifting, that wants to stop your success, the Lord shall drown them in the Red Sea of life. Amen. In the name of Jesus, my God will drown them. I say God will drown them. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. You are going to pray just three prayer points. Just three prayer points. And I believe God that by virtue of the prayer, you will be delivered from every yoke, every limitation, every cause, every spoken word of man that has limited your life. You will be delivered from it in the name of Jesus. Because this new phase of your life, starting from now, will be a new phase of glory. Will be a new chapter of success. Will be a new chapter of advancement. Will be a new chapter of progress. In the name of Jesus, whatever is causing you not to achieve great things, Hey, Kama Sude Remo Sundayakaba. Whatever is causing you not to achieve great things shall die suddenly. In the name of Jesus, you are going to tell the Lord that any power that is boasting from my father's house, saying I will not go far, saying I will not succeed, let that power come under the divine judgment of God. In the name of Jesus, any power that has vowed from my father's house, from my mother's house, that says I will not go far, that says I will not progress, that says I will not succeed, let that power come under the judgment of God. In the name of Jesus, begin to make that declaration. Make that declaration. Make that declaration, whatever power that has vowed that you will not succeed, that you will not excel, that you will not break from, let that power fall under the judgment of God in the name of Jesus. Ragabarada Ekaparus, Rante Balusa, Rafrendosa, Recopara, Rande Gede, Ikebendeka, Ikeborododum, Rebrondosa, Rabacosa, Rubacaya, Radenazia, Regededem, Ibracabai, Rato Sheketem, Reketeba, Radabara, Nibracata, Ebracasuda, Ekeberia, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Secondly, you are going to tell the Lord. That every negative word that has been spoken over my life, every curse that has been released over my life, that has closed the heaven of my advancement, be reversed by fire, be cancelled by fire. In the name of Jesus, every negative spoken word that has been released over my life, over my atmosphere, be reversed, be reversed, be cancelled, be reversed. Open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer. Jagada radaba regeberedem rakoshekete rebrendoskeba. Rende Barah, Recon Zevrani, Recon Dabai, Nimbra Dagai, Rega de Beraya, Rato Shakata, Rakabande Bra, Ikabando Rade, Nibra da Bacosa, Rabande Ram, Rakato Shakata, Ekebekade, Racon Zem, every negative one over your life, every negative one spoken over your destiny, be reversed by fire, 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 be reversed by fire. By fire in the name of Jesus, be reversed by fire in the name of Jesus, be reversed by fire in the name of Jesus, be reversed by fire in the name of Jesus, be reversed by fire in the name of Jesus, be reversed by fire in the name of Jesus, be reversed by fire in the name of Jesus, be reversed by fire in the name of Jesus, be reversed by fire in the name of Jesus, be reversed by fire in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. There is somebody watching me. The Lord says I shall announce to you that the breakthrough you have been praying for, the breakthrough you have been praying for is about to manifest. 
Amen. Say the Lord. The breakthrough you have been praying for, it is about to manifest. Amen. The breakthrough you have been praying for, it is about to manifest. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. that breakthrough your heart have been desiring, you have been praying for, you have been longing for a breakthrough, you have been crying for breakthrough. The Lord says, I should announce to you that it is about to manifest. Your, the season is upon you. The season of the manifestation of that breakthrough is upon your life. It is upon your life. It is upon you. In the name of Jesus, in the the name of Jesus, it shall come to pass. As the Lord has spoken it, it shall come to manifestation. The seasons of your breakthrough shall manifest. It shall manifest. It shall manifest. It shall manifest. In the name of Jesus, this is the third prayer. This is the third prayer. You are going to tell the Lord, Father, lift every cloud of darkness off my atmosphere. Lift up, lift away every cloud of darkness from my atmosphere, from my life, from my future, from my destiny. Every cloud, every dark cloud, every dark cloud, every dark cloud. Lord, lift it away. Lord, lift it away. Lord, lift it away. Reko shata rubekedia. Begin to pray right now. Begin to pray right now. Begin to pray right now. Reko shanta baruza. Reke zianda raska. Lord, lift away every dark cloud from my atmosphere. Every dark cloud from my life. Be lifted away. Be lifted away. Be lifted away. Be lifted away, be lifted away, be lifted away, be lifted away. Every dark cloud of the enemy over my life, over my destiny, over my family, over my ministry. Be lifted away in the name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In Jesus' precious name, we are prayed. I pray and I prophesy into your life that in the remaining days for this year to come to an end, you will receive unexpected good news. You will receive unexpected favors. You will receive supernatural help. People will begin to favor you. In the name of Jesus, the seasons of that you have entered in the remaining days of this year shall attract to you good tidings of joy. In the name of Jesus, opportunities will begin to locate your life. Favor will locate your life. Blessings will locate your life. I prophesy in the name of the Lord, the Lord will cause your hand to gather, not to scatter. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Holy Ghost. Lift up your water. Lift up your water wherever you are. Just lift up your water. Rebo shaka paradia. The Lord instructed that we come with water. Just This is my own. If you have your own, just raise it up wherever you are. By the power of the Holy Ghost. The Bible says the earth is the Lord and its fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. For you have found it upon the seas and established upon the waters. Say, we shall ascend unto the hill of the Lord and we shall stand in his holy place. He that hath a clean hand and a pure heart, who hath not lifted his sword and I don't know sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Says, I decree by the mandate of God's spirit, let the power of God enter into that water in your hands. Amen. Let the anointing of the Holy Ghost enter into that water in your hands. That water becomes the water of life. That water becomes miracle water. That water becomes healing water. As you drink of that water, it worketh healing in you. It worketh healing in you. It worketh healing in you. It works according to your heart desire. In the name of Jesus, whatever yoke the enemy has placed upon your life, that has caused you not to go far in life. That yoke is broken now. That yoke is broken now. That yoke is broken now. In the remaining days of this year, you will have success. You will have good news to record. You will have testimonies to record. In the name of Jesus, I release the blessings of God upon you. I release the favor of God upon you. In the name of Jesus, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. So we meet again by the special grace of God next week, Sunday. Join me live. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. You want to give us stars. The star, thank God we are verified. So you can send us stars. We are star here. Yeah, we can receive stars. So you can send us stars to support the page. God bless you. Have a lovely week. Your week is blessed. Your week is favored in the name of Jesus. Everything you lay your hands upon in the course of this week shall bring you glad tidings of joy. You will have abundance of testimonies. 
you will go safely, you will return safely to your home in the name of Jesus. In the course of this week, evil shall not befall you, sickness shall not befall you, disease shall not befall you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord go with you, the power of the Most High shall overshadow you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. So we meet again next week Sunday. Shalom.